So if you're like me, you get into Guild Wars 2 PvP just for fun. Ah! Nothing serious, you just want to get in, roll some heads, get out. Well then this is for you. This is a simple and effective mechanist build blocked. that anyone can play. High crits, decent maneuverability and survival, and just an overall blast, pun absolutely <laughs> intended. So your trade lines are going to be explosives, alchemy, and then of course mechanist. Mm -hmm. Explosive makes sense, obviously, because a lot of your damage gets transferred over to the mech, specifically the Fury, which is pretty cool. Uh, and it also offers quite a bit of barrier with the Blast Shield and then high damage with Big Boomer. Alchemy might raise some eyebrows, but again, we're looking for simplicity in this build. So all of the abilities that we have just activate on their own save for HGH, which is only implemented with Elixir H and Elixir S. For the Mechanist, we are going to go Jade Cannons, we're going to go Variable Mass Distributor, and then Jade Diameter. So the reason being is that a good portion of your damage is obviously coming from the Mech, the big one being the Jade Mortar. Now there are some combos that you can do with the uh, Spark Revolver, we'll get into that. As far as Amulet and Rune, of course we have Berserker Amulet, high damage, no, that's a lot of damage. Uh, followed by the Rune of the Eagle, which just 10% increased strike damage to targets less than 50% good for finishing the target. For the weapon, we are using a rifle because the rifle's uh, core abilities with the net shot and then the overcharge shot as well as the jump shot all offer a bit of versatility going down what we need to have as far as mobility and control. Of course, I do Sigil of Peril, which offers a bit of vulnerability and Sigil of Courage, which just offers a little bit of might here and there. For our skills, I like the Overclock Signet, which offers the Jade Buster Cannon, which is just a very strong damage dealing ability. However, also if your mech gets killed for whatever reason, you can summon a new one right there. I like the Shift Signet because it gives us a bit of movement speed, it breaks stuns, and is a shadow step. We can get out of a lot of bad things, draw your mech away from a lot of bad things very, very quickly. The grenade kit is just always a good choice. It adds quite a bit of conditions to the target, specifically the poison, which is great for people trying to recover after your big burst. Of course, Elixir S, which gives you quite a bit of survivability. Uh, I mean, break stun. You're invulnerable for nearly four seconds. It's just strong. And then Elixir H, which is just a very simple heal. Fairly short cooldown, offers a bunch of other benefits. It's just easy is what we're looking for. As far as our rotation is concerned, the big damage is going to be coming from Jade Mortar. What we need to focus on is immobilizing the target. Thankfully, the rifle can do that. So, net shot into a Jade Mortar, or prepping the Jade Mortar first, and then following up immediately with a net shot, will root the target, and then allow the Mortar to strike. So, Mortar, net shot, almost a guaranteed hit every single time. After that, after you hit your Jade Mortar, your net shot, and then you're gonna jump in with your jump shot. Main thing is, is that the landing damage, is it hits quite hard. While we are in air, we are going to switch to grenade kit, hit the poison grenade, hit the shrapnel grenade, freeze, flash, and then we're back out to hit him with the blunderbuss. Because we're gonna be right on top of the target, the blunderbuss is gonna hit really hard, followed up by the overcharge shot, which knocks them away. From there, we can use the Spark Revolver. So here we go. Jade Mortar into Net Shot. Jumping in. Hit him with all the grenades. And most of the time, the target is dead. If the target is still alive, you're gonna follow up with your Blunderbuss, which deals quite a bit of damage up front, and then hit him with the Overcharge Shot, which will launch them, stunning them, and following up with the Spark Revolver. The idea of, it, of this build is that it's just meant to be nice and simple. Now, you can also use your Jade Buster Cannon. I prefer this for team fights because it roots your mech and then you can hit a bunch of enemies in a line for a ton of damage, both with strike and condition, even though you're not really aiming for condition damage. It's quite effective. Here are a couple highlights of what you can do with this mech build. Prepared to die. I'm a f- 
Burn the laser! So there it goes. Fairly simple, easy to use just for those who are casually caffeinated to get into PvP and just have some fun. Make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on another casually caffeinated build. Aside from that, take care folks.